Hey guys, Riska and Mosey here. Mm. <laughs> that was really bad timing on my part, so my bad. You were all good. And uh, we're back to do another Q&A. This time it's not a mood bang. That was just the one time. Yeah. Which I'm kind of sad about because that food was good. That food was really delicious, it was. Okay. So I'll go ahead and start us off this time. Okay. With I never have dressed as a witch. Only for Halloween. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. So, yes for both of us, but <laughs> only Halloween costumes. For real. Okay. I never have eaten food out of a refrigerator that belonged to someone else. Very, yeah. very guilty. <laughs> I mean, like, because I, I take it to also mean, like, oh, well, they had food prepared for, like, a party or something mm -hmm. that you went to. And so you were eating from that. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never have done things in an elevator to entertain whoever watches the security videos. No! <laughs> I'm not gonna finger myself in a camera, <laughs> in a web show. In a random ass elevator! You don't know what's in there. Thank you. You can catch herpes or mm. worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, no for both of us. I never have used a fake ID. I've always wanted to. I always wanted to try it out. But no. I never could buy one. Like, damn it. And then next thing I knew I was 21, so it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh well. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> Our part's over. Ooh, okay. I never have used perfume or cologne to cover a body odor problem. I, mean, I think everyone has. Oh, well, y'all. Like. Sometimes you don't be fresh. Exactly. You don't want to offend. Right. I ain't gonna walk around funky. Thank you. Like, I'm gonna walk up to them and be like, hi, and the whole time they think about like, oh, that bitch smell. Like, mm, did she bang? <laughs> like, should I introduce her to my friend's soap and water? Because I think she needs to. I'm just brush and paste. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a no for both of us. I never have told offensive jokes on purpose. No. Like, literally, it's not that hard to not be an asshole. It really is. I never have worn no clothing on, no clothing under a trench coat. I'm not a child molester. So no. <laughs> no, like unless like I was like we were playing. Okay, like if I had an SO right, mm -hmm. or we were playing like spies, and somebody was like the good good spy and the bad spy, then I would. Somebody had to be punished. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But that's the only time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and finally, I never have told a stranger on the phone that person had a sexy voice. It's just really not that hard to not be creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I've never told anybody that, but I had someone tell me that. Ugh. And what was really weird, okay, this was like really early, like when I first started going on Whisper, like when it was new, new. Oh god, and, scary. Oh, it was so scary, because like this one guy legit like called me and I forgot that I gave him my number and so I pretended to be somebody else I was like hey my name is Jessica <laughs> and he was all like oh you sound sexy and I was like really <laughs> and he like really like no like this dude is fucking weird because that was like the literally the worst voice on earth who, who would find that sexy who somebody who's never been late before <laughs> I was, I was so scared. I was like, oh my god, that's why you don't like use apps and go on the internet. <laughs> this is terrible. No. But, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, so that's a weird ass card. Oh, damn. That's yeah. quick. Oh, we, we got through it. Whew. Okay. Never have I ever fallen asleep while on a boom, boring date. I mean, I didn't fall asleep. Yeah, I, I wanted to. Mm hmm. It was just awkward. It's just like, oh. Um, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I mean, this day was a bad idea. Oh my god, because like that one dude, we're going to call him Kathy because he had a bunch of cats. Ah. Oh. Yeah. He and was so weird. He was, oh my god, he was so <laughs> fucking irky. I'm like, that's why you're one night stand. Because like. That's why you can't drive. Oh my god, I thought he was going to kill us. I thought we were going to die. And then we like went on the bad side of town. It's like, this is too much negative on a bad day. Yes. <laughs> like, goddamn. And I really think that he thought, like, I was going to spend the night, but, like, 
I just finished and then I laid there for a minute and I was like, mm, well, I gotta go. And he's like, really? You're not gonna spend the night? It's like, I don't know you. I'm not, I'm like, wait, you live on a bad side of town. I'm like, scared. You might be a serial killer. And if you're not one, you live with one. Yes. <laughs> like, we, ain't, we ain't going out this way. No. Oh my god, it was horrible. I've never asked a hookup. Well, you're not gonna spend the night? Like, I just assume they wanna go. Because honestly, I want them to go. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we vibe, okay, cool, you can stay. Right. If not, you know, if I just got my jollies and you got yours, okay, deuces. It's one night stand for a reason. But what kills me is he just assumed. I'm like, at least, like. Right, like, if it was, like, mentioned before, like, oh, maybe you can spend the night or something. Maybe I would have considered it, but you can't just be like, oh, oh, you're not spending the night? Like, no. I know, but if a You don't have food. Like, that's the biggest problem of all. I'm just like, how you gonna get me faded? But you don't got no food. Like, what is that? Can't, can't even give a girl some water. You know, he gotta have really good high-grade stuff, so I got cop mouth like a bee. Ain't gonna give me pretzels. I don't wonder why I went home. Like maybe if you played your cards right, I want to stay the night. Yeah, he didn't even let me play on his Xbox. What kind of shit is that, y'all? But he's still single. I bet. That's why his wife left him. Ooh. That's why she cheated on with his best friend. All things that you should not tell a hookup when you first meet them. Literally, I don't even know that. But anyway, I'm done being <laughs> shady as hell. That got intense. That got shady. I forgot about him. Me too. Until now. Like, I'm always just so distracted by just the essence of Hat Boy. <sighs> like, we mentioned Hat Boy before, if y'all yeah. remember. Just, it's still, he's still the dude that I'm just like, I think that was your worst choice ever. It that was the worst judgment you've ever made. It, it totally was, because <laughs> it was after Zach, and that's why. Yo, damn, I know you don't give a fuck. You dropped his name. I did. I was on like, Nigga, watch this. I don't care. Look at what you missed out on by being a douche ass. <laughs> All of this. But anywho. Because, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I think Michael, you <laughs> my think... least favorite of your exes. Oh, yeah. He's definitely the fucking worst. He's pretty damn shitty and he fucking sucks. So, yeah. I know who your least favorite is. <laughs> <of mine. laughs> we ain't even got to talk about it. <laughs> You, you'll know if you watch the other video. Oh, man, bitch. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. <laughs> we have terrible taste. If that wasn't already clear. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever licked a sex toy or adult candy. Yeah. I don't need to go into detail. Yeah. Just see that. <laughs> Ditto. Okay. Never have I ever worn something crotchless. Or assless. That's doing too damn much. Uh, yeah, that's annoying to me, so no. Like, I I'll just take, don't wear underwear. I'll take assless before crotchless. I'm like, well, just take it off. It's just a waste <laughs> of time. I don't get how that's sexy. I don't get that. Assless just makes me think of jock straps, which I'm like, okay, that, that Ooh, makes or sense. Chaps. Yes, mm. but yeah, crotchless, I'm just like, just take it off. Ooh, but I did see these ones. Ooh. And they have like a little like bead on there that like when you walk through like rubbed your clit oh I was like that's really cool okay i support that i support it if it gets creative you know has but a purpose if it's literally just for easy access i'm like just don't wear underwear and that's so stupid like, push it to the side like thank you oh my god okay never have i ever worn no never have i ever wondered what my life would be like if i were an adult film star you know i've thought about becoming a porn star sometimes I'm like, ooh, I'd be so demanding about who I'd start with. <laughs> I'm like, we can't. My contract, I'm like, nah, we're not just letting anybody inside. Inside Chateau Risque. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> hell not Chateau Risque. <laughs> ooh, like, I got standards. So, they wouldn't want to work with me. What? It, it just, that kind of work ain't meant for me. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. The closest I get to thinking about it is like being like a camp girl. Yes. You know. But at least you don't have to worry about Sony not cons like not validating your consent. Exactly. As it's a camp all girl. me. 
you know, y'all can give me your coins. Exactly. Maybe you can have, like, a special guest that you trust mm -hmm. and know. But, yeah, I think it, that's the way, like, I think it's more secure and safe than, yeah. like, adult film work. No offense to adult film actors. I love y'all, but... Oh, yeah. That's just what I take from it. Um, never have I ever had sex on a leather couch, no. Yeah. Other kinds of couches, yeah. Mm. But not... Not leather. Cause it's leather's not even comfortable to sit on, honestly. Yeah, like it make it sticky and y'all gonna sweat so it's just gonna stick to your skin. Or it's like, gonna get slippery and then you can't get like no friction. Yes, or like it's gonna make weird ass noises and totally kill the mood, so no. Leather is a no go. Boo. Never have I ever wished upon a falling star. But yes I have. Yep. Didn't come true, but it was worth a shot. It's always interesting. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever given a parent a gag gift. No, I haven't. No, but I've been giving gag gifts. <laughs> and they would be funny if it weren't the specific gifts I got that they thought was so damn funny. They did it purely to piss me off. I'm like, well, congratulations, you got what you wanted. <laughs> it's like, feels something that was like a little hee hee ha ha gag right. or something. That, like, I wouldn't have been irritated. But I'm like, y'all, y'all got me this with the express mission of making me mad. <laughs> so I'm, I'm giving you what you want. <laughs> I'm irritated. Okay. Um. Never have I ever pretended to accept an award while taking, talking to myself in my room. Yeah. I mean, in my room, in the shower, on the toilet. Yeah. I'm just, planning my Grammy speech all the time. I'm always, always planning my best woman speech for who's ever getting married. Oh yes, oh, I like that. Thank you, because I want to be funny. <laughs> I want people to remember me. Oh, she's gonna be a riot at my wedding. She's gonna be legendary. Oh. I can already tell. Oh, about to get turned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. fish and got blurry. Oh, she. Oh, but that's the end of it. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. That would be good for me to read. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Keep my wits about me. Okay. <laughs> I have never used tweezers. I have. Everybody. Thank you. That's stupid. I never have taken penicillin. I have enough, so I found out I was allergic to it. Same. <laughs> Literally same. <laughs> I never have had a wart removed. Mm -mm. Never had a wart. I never have used a fern or other plant as toilet paper. I just don't see the appeal of wiping your ass with a plant. I mean, like... <laughs> like, if that's literally the only choice you have... Okay. I'm just like, I feel like there are so many other things you can do. Hell, use, like, the, the floor mat or something. Like, not a plant. I'm just... Have a shitty ass. I don't know. Like, that's a lot. Like, there are too <laughs> many options for y'all to do what y'all do. And I'm grossed out by the fact that you... Oh, this car is acting like... Oh my god, booty. <laughs> Why the one time you don't want one? Right. Oh my god, okay. But my leg was hurting. Okay, I was good over the bit. <sighs> oh my god, my <laughs> hips feel literally a hundred times better. Right. Oof. Okay. Um, but yeah, just a furnace toilet paper. It's not a it's good stupid. idea. I'm okay. not all naked or afraid, so. No. I never have shown a large poop to someone else. You don't need to see what my poop looks like if you're not my doctor. I will tell you about it. All I'll right. be proud and amazed. <laughs> but not I'm not going to show. show. You're not Randy. No, I'm not. <laughs> trying to beat Bono for the biggest turd award. It's oh, like, shut up. So far, so stupid. Ooh, okay. I never have screamed that something was a miracle. I've yet to have a miracle happen to me, so no. <laughs> but maybe then I'll be like, it's the miracle. I'm trying to think. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I have. I've never screamed it. I might be like, oh, oh my god, that's a miracle. Oh, no, thank goodness. Yeah, but I've never, I've never had a reason to scream it. Yeah, okay. I never have shaven myself with something other than shaving cream. I mean, I've used conditioner, soap, and water. <laughs> Same. And coconut oil. Oh, okay, that's smart. It's literally Ooh. like... But it does. It, it might feel good, but I only recommend it for small areas because don't the blades a, get clogged quickly. Don't do a full body shape with that. Uh uh. Just take it one section at a time. Strictly keeping the pubes and under hair, mm -hmm. underarm hair, like, or tummy hair. Yeah. yeah. And maybe like if you're 
continuously keeping up with it as they're right. shaving like the little baby the grown man. Yeah. Okay. But if you like me and you let it get all wolf woman beforehand. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sad that we both have that issue yes. of like, okay, I'm gonna keep up with it, and then three like months later, I'm like, shit, I need to shave. And it be, <laughs> oh my god, it be so bad. And sometimes like I be pressed, mm -hmm. but most of the time I be trying to care, and I literally can't. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I know that enough is enough when like my legs start pulling on my leg here. That's when I get mad, and that's yeah. when it gets taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> when the pants hair start getting pulled, Yo. or if you get snagged on each other, it's like, uh oh, because I get irritated. Ooh, okay. And then I finally, I never have eaten butter by itself. Not polydeen, so no. If it's that cinnamon sugar butter, I will tear that shit the fuck up. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. That's fat as hell. I know it is, but like, I ain't even mad. I will eat that shit. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't need no bread. It's good. Fuck it. We just gonna, <laughs> gonna dig it right now. Never have I ever peed in someone's sink. Yes. Ew. <laughs> oh, that moment describes us in a nutshell. Literally. <laughs> you know exactly who we are. <laughs> Those like, answers alone. If we were trying to lie, we told our ourselves just then. Yo. Whoo. So, say, say no for me. You know, you don't want to, but sometimes you literally don't have a choice. <laughs> sometimes there are no other options. And you, I'd rather piss in the sink than on myself. Yes. So. <laughs> but that's my answer. I'm sick of two. Hey, no judgment. Thank you. <laughs> Just by me going, yeah. <laughs> that was so funny because we were both like so like, bam. <laughs> so strong in our opinions. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Oh my god, what does one anybody want? I'll check in a minute. I don't care. <laughs> Never have I ever pooped in the woods. I haven't been in the woods, so no, I have not pooped in them. The closest I got was when we went camping at Lake Arcadia, but I still pooped in that bathroom. Like, it was shitty and it was gross and disgusting, <laughs> but I pooped there because I'm like, I'm not pooping outside. <laughs> I'm not an animal. I'm a literal human being. This is why we evolved from the Neanderthals. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we evolved could, to sit on toilets. So we could poop inside. Like, I ain't doing it. Amen. Ooh. Amen, sister. It's bad. What is bad? Ooh, it's so bad. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I'm scared. Never have I ever had a bug bite me in my crotch or anal region. <laughs> so bad. How does this wrap? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cut this out since I know she's probably going to end up watching this with me. Uh -huh. But my grandma got bitten the ass by a horsefly once. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad for her. I feel so bad for her because she was in so much pain. Oh. Like it was just little baby me, so I didn't really know like what that meant. Like, right. I was like, oh, why is she hurting so bad? It's just a fly. I'm like, <laughs> horse flies are different, sweetie. Ooh, <laughs> oh, they're so scary. Oh, and I'll never let her forget that because that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but yeah, so I have it, but I know people that have. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I mean, as far as I know, I don't know nobody that has. And I, I've been bit in the butt by like a mosquito. But right. I mean, that's not like, that's not worth telling. Yeah, that's not a horse fly bite. No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was scared of those and like deer flies because people said they lay eggs in you. Okay. And I got scared because I got bit by one. I thought I was going to die. Oh. I was like, oh my God, I'm I got to like, go home. I'm the newest host. <laughs> yes, it's like I'm going to explode. It's just going to be a bunch of bug eggs. And I'm just going to be I don't gross. want you to be oogie boogie. I don't want to be oogie boogie. <laughs> like, I hate people. I hate outside. Never have I ever pretended to have diarrhea to get out of doing something. Yes. <laughs> Having gastrointestinal issues. <laughs> You told me that I'm dying. I was like, oh, that's so extra. <laughs> like, to the max. <laughs> well, I can't even blame her. I'll be doing the same shit. I mean, because some <laughs> jobs act like you have to be dying so you can call me in. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't coming in today. If you won't fire me, then fine. It's like, either it's that or I'm shit everywhere. Which one you want? Thank you. 
I hope you don't have the balls to dare me because <laughs> I will take a laxative and come up there and prove you wrong. Yo, all the carbon and I'll shit on your desk. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> we have the sign at Open Tone in a bathroom. And it literally had a little stick figure <laughs> standing up with shit spraying out his ass. <laughs> It, it said no and then it had a picture of a stick figure sitting on the toilet and it says C and I was like why do we have to tell people this why don't you know you know it was one of the cleanup people because they speak Spanish and so they had to clean up a bathroom full of shit and they mad and they like how we tell these gringos to not shit on the wall and I'm just like, man, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. The whites are at it again. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that was funny. Ooh, I'm just gonna never forget that. Never. Like, it scarred me. It's like they had to clean up a bathroom full of shit because it has to be the cleaning people. <laughs> Nobody else here speaks Spanish. No! And they're so frustrated and they're just like, oh my god. <laughs> like, what the hell? Do we have to tell people not to no. stand up and shit? See? And I'm just like, <sighs> it's a day of crying shit. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh okay. my I'm just glad I can give you a laugh because you fucking killed me last time. So Ooh. I'm like, yeah. It evens out. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever pulled someone else's nose or ear hair. You? No. Fuck you if you say yes to that. Yeah. You're a terrible person. You're going to hell. Oh. Okay. We're going to skip right on over that. <laughs> Never have I ever texted a pixel of my genitals to someone. A pixel? Oh. A picture. Oh. I was like. <laughs> So you like to take a little bit and then you yeah. just send it. Like, and there's more where that came from. <laughs> they said breasts or genitals? It said a picture of my, it just says genitals. Oh, okay. Because I've sent like pictures of my titties. Right. I guess titties aren't your gents also. Right. But I sent pictures of my ass too. Yeah, I've sent pictures of the whole kick kaboom. Yup. I probably should have meant this on the internet. Let's just say yeah. We're just gonna say yeah and move along. Yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever taken a picture of myself while pleasuring myself. Why are these questions so invasive? I'm just gonna be simple and say no. Because I don't want internal bleeding. Yeah. What she said. <laughs> <That I'm lying. laughs> Cause I'm not including using dildos and vibrators. <laughs> I'm talking just hands. Damn. <laughs> I still fell under that umbrella. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, I do too, but I'm high, so I'm gonna pretend I don't. <laughs> I got the reality stone. <laughs> my reality is the uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, never have I ever shoplifted or stolen someone's friend. Wait, never have I ever shoplifted or stolen a friend's. Hygiene feminine product. No. I'm not just like, they buy tampons now, bitch. Like, just ask. <laughs> Thank you. you. Fucking weirdo. Like, what am I going to be like, you know, bitch. Get your own. It's like, I'd be happy to give you a pad. Just let, just let me know. Let me know what's that, girl. I need help. But I'm like, here you go. Like, we all understand. Don't steal. If that's really unnecessary. Like, like, no, we don't understand theft. I'm like, okay. I'm your friend. Why would you steal from me? Steal from the store. Or you. you don't know. Not like, me. Go to Planned Parenthood. They have a fuck ton. A lot of female public bathrooms have them. Like. Mm -hmm. Ooh. My question was on this a damn Sarah. Ooh, so on this a damn Sarah. But that is the end of this on this a damn Sarah card. Oh, all right. Um, I have never cheated on a diet and lied to other people about being on it still. That's so unnecessary. Just... If you diet, that. you diet. If you don't, you don't. Who gives a fuck? Thank you. Does it change your way else's life? No. God, okay. Oh. Sorry to get bad. This goddamn question makes me so motherfucking angry. <laughs> because y'all know with what the fuck cards. It's always about sex, poop, pee, 
or, or random. Yes. Or food. I'm just like, and sometimes they use all of them together, and I was like, okay, really? <laughs> okay. I never have accidentally pooped a little while sitting at a desk at work or school. I was never sitting in open tone, and I'm just like, ooh, I think a little shit came out. Oh, well. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, who, why, why are you just sitting and shitting and being like, oh, okay, I pinched it. You it's know, fine. You know who would do that? Roach Queen. Oh. Because it's just roaches. It's just shit. <laughs> It's just shit. I'll be like, bitch, go to hell. <laughs> you just shit. You just shit. you nasty. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so, no. Yeah, no. I never have spit out orgasmic secretions into a sink or toilet. I've spat it out on the freaking carpet before. Like, I'm not bougie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question. Is it rude if you spit it back out on them? Why you gotta be so rude? Bro, bro. Why were you okay? I guess for me, I would feel bad if I did that if they were warning me. Right. Now, if they didn't warn me and they just surprised me, then hell no, that's just not rude. <laughs> it's rude that they didn't warn you. <laughs> cause I'm just like, <laughs> I feel bad cause like, I'll be like promising to just like swallow uh -huh. and then like, I'll pretend to be dumb and like, they're like, well, I'm about to come. And then, like, I'm just, like, away from them. And I'm stroking. And I'm like, oh, all of a sudden it's gone. Okay. Uh, here's the <laughs> I love that answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you started all. Oh, Sex wait on me. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, too slow. <laughs> so. I mean, I don't... Have I ever actually done it in a sink or toilet? I don't think I have. Because I've never had sex in the bathroom. No. I mean... Yeah, I'm like you. Like, what's the big motion to run and spit? Like... Thank you. You're not throwing it up. Like, just spit it on the carpet. Spit it on the towel. Like, yes. something. It'll be fine. It'll be shit. Or, if they don't warn you, just spit it back out on them. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I never have flirted with a police officer. No. I did, because I wanted to get out of a ticket. It didn't work. No. <laughs> <laughs> I never have <laughs> oh, 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 no. I never have laughed while receiving oral sex. <laughs> that was a <laughs> so I apologize for that big old laughing fit when that really wasn't even that funny. <laughs> I have it unless mm -hmm. like something funny happened that wasn't revolving around the oral sex. Right. Um, I have. Well, I queefed. <laughs> <laughs> we had a laugh about it. It's like oh, that was weird. And I'm like, yeah, sorry. I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, okay. Why are dudes so chill with queefs? But like, they'll freak out if you fart. It's like it's literally the same thing, but out of a different hole. I mean, really. I'm like, what's the issue? They think they like queefs because they make them. They think they feel. I mean, I'm like y'all stupid because y'all also think that your dick will stretch out a pussy and it won't. I mean, a child won't. So why would your shrimp dick do it? Ooh. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> I never have blown into someone else's car breathalyzer. Who the hell has a car breathalyzer? Um. First of all, if she does or he does, I ain't riding with the bitch. Nope. Because they got a drinking problems. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> well, yeah, no. No. I never have pleasured myself while watching a sci-fi movie. Well. <laughs> well. I will say, do superhero movies count as sci-fi? Because it's dealing with science and it's fiction. I'm just saying. Oh. Marvel make me wet and it make me masturbate. Yes to that. <laughs> and if we're going to get real sci-fi here. I can't lie. Okay. So when Benedict Cumberbatch was like Wrath of Khan in Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there was like him and um. What's William Shatner's name? Um, Stupid. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Kirk. Captain Kirk. So it's like Khan and Captain Kirk having like hate. Angry. Angry hate sex. And it was, it was hot. I mean, it wasn't them, but it was like supposed to be like that. But that one's 
Oh, that was good. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Man, it's like, so soft. It really is. It's our favorite. <laughs> okay, and finally. I never have fantasized about having sex with both genders at the same time. Yes. Yes. A billion times, <laughs> yes. And I personally, I'm not into women, so I'm like, the only woman I want to be around is me. So, bring all the men's, but... I was so obsessed. Strictly dickly over here. <laughs> and I'm like, bring it all. Come on, yeah. come on. She don't discriminate. She's like, if you cool, we can have fun. Mm-hmm. Yep, so that is that card. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of these black licorice jelly beans. They're making me so angry. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever played my belly like it was a drum. I'm fat, so yeah. <laughs> Even if I was skinny, that's just fun to do. Right, when you're bored. It's like dumping my tummy. So yeah. Never have I ever painted another face on my body. What? Like, why? Why didn't you do that? What the fuck, indeed? Mm, I mean, bears are like sex. Even better. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat a jelly bear. Oh, eat a jelly jump. bean. Oh, get them jelly beans. At the same time. <laughs> Number, have I ever? Why it's my private area? I was doing too much. I just shave. I would. I haven't yet, but I would. I totally would. Because waxing is so much more satisfying than shaving because your hair stays gone way longer. That is true. I'm just, I don't like pain. Yeah, that's the rough part, but. Yeah, I don't know, what was I saying? I got a thing for pain, that's what I was saying. But y'all didn't need to know that. Get some dirt in this video, guys. Apparently. <laughs> okay, never have I ever used a bucket or a pot as a toilet. Why can't people just use toilets as toilets? <laughs> I mean, Why is that so difficult? Why is that such a foreign concept? Thank you. Like, the closest I ever got to, like, using a bucket or, like, a pot was, like, I think I was sick. And so I grabbed, like, a trash can bucket, I'm going to call it, and you throw it in the trash can. That's the closest I ever got. And sometimes you can't control, you know, how long it takes to get to the bathroom. That's true. Like you just some, gotta, sometimes you literally ain't got no choice. You really don't. Never have I ever flirted or made a romantic play for a boss. My bosses were never hot, so no. I'm trying to... Actually, okay, no, that's false. I did flirt with the boss. I forgot about the, the Halloween star like that. He was really cute. Because mm. he was, like, younger. Right. And so I was like, you're cute. And he was super sweet. Oh. So yeah, I did flirt with him. I'm trying to think, have I flirted with the boss? <clears throat> okay, well like, I didn't know I was flirting, but I guess maybe I kind of was with the JC Penny boss. Oh. Like, cause Amber got weird vibes. And I'm like, I don't know why you're getting these weird vibes. And then like hella innocent you just does not see it. I don't see it. But, okay, you guys, like, I, I'll admit this. I have, like, a bad habit. Like, when I like the guy, I can't figure out how to talk to him. But, like, if we're just, like, cool or, like, friends, like, it's really easy to bro out. And, you know, I'm just, like, talking about my nerd stuff and <laughs> making jokes. Getting and, really invested. And I guess I was... I was giving the wrong signals. I didn't realize it because I didn't think he was being weird. But maybe, I don't know. Either way, yeah. So I'm going to say just accidentally. Unintentionally. Unintentional. I mean, but I wouldn't have said no if like, that were the case. Was he cute? Yeah. He was cute in like a Rainy Mallet kind of way. Like that weird cute. Right. Where he's not traditionally cute, but like... He's like a Rami Malik, a BJ Novak. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Because he was an asshole. I don't like assholes, unfortunately. <laughs> Again, we have terrible taste. Terrible, <laughs> terrible taste. <laughs> I need, like, I, I need to make, like, a logo or something for every time that, like, we mention how awful our taste is. I, I was know. just like, hashtag terrible taste. Hashtag, <laughs> yes. I just don't want to do my fingers like that. Anywho, <laughs> I'm gonna stop being dumb. Never have I ever had sex in a closet. 
I metaphorically? Need, right? I need room to roam. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And I say metaphorically, but not anymore. Cause y'all are proud. Happy Pride Month, y'all. Happy June. Okay. Never have I ever lied about my sexuality to someone whom I was not attracted. Yes. All the time. Like, I'm a lesbian. Yeah. Go away. I'm asexual. Go away. <laughs> Demisexual. What's that exactly? Go, Go away. away. I'm celibate. I don't have a vagina. Go I'm away. I'm a nun. Yes! <laughs> I'm literally Barbie down there. I'm married to Jesus. Go away. Yes. Okay. Never have I ever sold something that belonged to someone else. Why are you people terrible if you say yes to that? You know, I just... Why? What do you get? You're from a crackhead. God. Why do crackheads do that? What? Are you like that in the episode of Law that lady that steals that lady's baby to go like sell to her dealer for crack? Which is who does that? To sell for crack money so she can pay for the crack at her dealer. I don't like that crack is like apparently the price of an infant. That's some quality crack if it's that high that you can't even pay in cash no more. I'm just saying. So. That's what I take from that. <laughs> Whatever that question was, because I forget. Um. Never have I ever sold somebody else's stuff from me. Oh, okay. And yet, no. But that's not in my car. No, oh, okay. Okay, this is just how we're starting off. I never have looked at pictures of uncircumcised men. Okay, I've looked at pictures of uncircumcised men. I've looked at pictures of circumcised men. Yeah. I've What's looked at pictures deal? of penises. <laughs> it is what it is. And your point. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I never have seen photos or a video of one of my surgeries. Ew, no. I don't want to, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a, oh, that's a fuck no. Ugh. I never have kicked a car door. I have. I kicked my own car door. It wasn't anybody else's car door. <laughs> but I had a flat tire and I was mad, so I kicked a car door. That was, that was, oh, that was sad. That was a very terrible, terrible day. Elixir skate and the no good, horrible, terrible was that day. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, because that day was horrible. That was, I made me sad. And I don't think I have. I've punched a car door, but I've never kicked one. I've definitely punched one. Because I was thinking about you kicking other things, and it works out perfectly with this next one. Oh, God. I never have lost my temper at a mall. Oh my god, that's like, why? The car's reading me to filth. Okay. Um. Yeah, I kicked a trash can because I was mad because the freaking people at the nail shop ripped her the fuck off. Oh my god, ripped me all the way fucking off. Okay, so like, you guys know when you're a broke young person and you really like don't. You only get a small itty bitty baby ass check every two weeks. So you don't splurge very often. No, but okay, I have to look fabulous. I can't afford to get my hair done because that shit's too expensive. But I can afford to get my nails. Except when the bitches tell you that it's $45 and then all of a sudden, no, it's forty like $4 for your feet and your hands. So it's like 80 something. And I'm like, what? Like, say that again. Like, do you know numbers, bitch? I was so mad. And I'm just like, do I look like? I mean, I'm honored if you think so. But do I look like Oprah? Do I look like I made a money? <laughs> bitch, like, you see me in this holy ass shirt and these jeans with these thigh holes. No, I ain't got no $85 or whatever the fuck. Like, no. Oh, she was so <gasps> mad. <laughs> Cause we walked out and yeah, she kicked the trash can, she threw a water bottle and it exploded. Yep, and I yelled a lot. <laughs> and then like we went to eat like right afterwards and like as we were sitting there like she's looking at her nails like, you know what, this actually ain't that bad. Right, like, <laughs> I was like, fuck it, you know what, it was worth it. <laughs> but in that moment she was so pissed. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, it ooh, always happens funny. at the nail shop cause ain't the first time that happened. Mama let that go. Because we finally found our place. We did, and they've been good to us ever since. Yo. Alrighty. I never have spit out sushi. No. No. 
I will eat my sushi. If you spit it out, shame on you. Well, thank you. Like, that's a waste of sushi. It better be spoiled, and that's the only reason why you spit Ooh, it out. Even then, you still need to eat it, because it's probably still good. Um, I never have pulled out belly button lint that I then found fascinating. No. You need to get a life if you're fascinated by your belly button lint. Yeah, that's like being fascinated by your toe jam. Thank you. It's like, mm, mm. no. Okay. I never have had a fingernail or toenail completely peeled off. I got close one time. Because, mm -hmm. ooh. Because we got our nails done, and it had been a while, and so they were starting to, like, get loose and, like, come oh, off. Yeah. And there were a couple times where, like, I was like, okay, fine. And so I'd rip it off, but then, like, a lot of my nail would go with it. And I'm like, I thought it was loose! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that shit was Ooh. terrible. I stubbed the toe, and then the fingernail died. Oh. And so it fell off, and then I had to wait for my toenail to grow back. Bitch-ass nail? It was, oh my god, I was at that <laughs> bitch-ass table, fucked up my toe. <laughs> Like, why is the universe conspiring against me? It hurts so damn bad. Oh my god, y'all. It hurts so bad. Made us bad. Ooh. It's so bad. Ooh, <laughs> it is. Oh my nose itchy bad. <laughs> okay, and then finally, I never have had my fortune read. Mm -mm. I want to. Though. Right, not yet, but I would not be opposed. Okay, so yeah, that was that weird ass card. Alright. So never have I ever fumbled someone in an inner tube. No, it's just weird. Like, I don't even know how you do that. Yeah, you're not nowhere near close enough. Thank so. you. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, never have I ever made out with someone who was more than twice my age. Yeah. <laughs> I call it my Lana Del Rey moment. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Never have I ever accepted a hookup offer from someone who promised to do all the work. It's oddly specific. Right. Like. Like I mean, they didn't explicitly say that. I don't know. I, I guess no. But I've been offered to like hang out, and then he's like, "I just want to like blank, blank, blank you." Right. So. I guess technically. Technically, yeah. Then guys never tell me what they want. Let me get messy. And it's just like, oh my god, I don't have time to play the fucking guessing game with you. So I'm like, I'll tell you what I want, and you'll do that or you'll fuck off. Let's try this. Okay. Never have I ever touched a dead body. Ew. Ew, no. I'm not Logan Paul. Ugh. Gross. Damn, say throw! Yo, call out names. I'm the bone collector. Ooh, except you bad at charade. <laughs> Wakefield. Ooh, she wishes she had a wig. <laughs> she wishes she had a good wig. Yeah, because I don't like charade. You raggedy. Ooh, charade hella raggedy. I don't like her. Like, that's why you're not really living in a chateau she can't pay. Ooh, because the chateau they own. Mm -hmm. Chateau Tyrone. Chateau, she wrote a book so she could pay for Chateau Chirac. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kenya, for being so fucking funny. Oh, oh my god, yes. Okay, never have I ever used a firework to blow something up. No, I'm not stupid. I'm not a dumb boy. No. <laughs> I like watching them go off, but right. I don't like making things go boom with them. No, because I'm like, it's going to take my hand off. Yeah, I'm going to die or something. No. I'm like, no. Okay. Never have I ever been fully patted down at airport security. No, surprisingly. <laughs> and I really thought I was going to have issues like when we went to Vegas, but it went smoothly as hell. Same, same. When I did, when I went with you to Vegas and when we had a school trip in high school, I was really like, I'm a weird, creep, gross person. I was like the person that's like, oh yeah, if they need a volunteer. Hi. I'll be I'll be the TSA's volunteer. Yeah, right. And it was like never me. And I'd be like really I'm like oh body scans are right for you. I'm like damn it, why not? Cause with my look, like they would be like okay, we're patting you down, and it'd be ugly. And I'd be like oh, why can't it be just a hot TSA agent? If, that would be like look that just like squeezes my ass, and I'm like there's nothing there. He's like I know. It's about to be Ooh. a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> it's like, there's some, you're smuggling cake. Ooh. I like, I like that. You got a point, sir. 
I want to smuggle your salami to your skin. <laughs> that Italian sausage. Never have I ever been aroused during a physical exam. No. No. I don't know how we're all season on the past one, but on this one we're like, oh, no. Right. Of course not. <laughs> like, all serious. Like, who? <laughs> Like, ladies, get it together. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever, ever had a naughty dream about a teacher? Yes. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. You remember that? Oh. Messy card is done. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start off with, I never have watched a porn movie and seen someone who looked kind of like me. Yeah, I have. Aubrey Kate, look her up. <laughs> <laughs> me? No. But that'd be cool. Right? <laughs> be a little weird, but cool. Like, come on, tall black girls with glasses and blue hair. I need that, <laughs> that blurdy porn. Right? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I never have thrown a chair out of anger. No, I'm not Chris Brown. I was just thinking that. But honestly, or like, a if, wrestler. <laughs> if you were mad enough and there was a chair nearby, I could see you throwing a chair. It's been like high school you especially. Ooh, high school me would <laughs> hella throw a chair. <laughs> like now you've mellowed out, but like you back then I could see it. Ooh, me back then was so confrontational. <laughs> without was wanting to be confrontational. So problematic. It's just that when people leave her alone. Like she's, she's literally crazy. Let her come to you. Yes. <laughs> I'm a hater ass bitches in high school. Ugh. I was like, I can't even blame you for being like that. Because bitches didn't make it easy. They didn't. Okay. I never have bitten my tongue. Who hasn't? All the time. It's I be eating a little too excitedly. And I'm like, ow. Oh, I be eating <laughs> and laughing or eating and talking. And then bam. I'm like, fuck. Like, they ain't laughing now. No. Let's see. She'll okay. be sore for days. Really? I never have spied on or peeked at someone who was going to the bathroom. What up with all these bathroom spy jokes? Like, ew. Like, seriously? Why? Why is, what, what is the obsession? This is what's wrong with America. <laughs> this is America. Ooh. Don't get you slipping now. Somebody just be peeping now. <laughs> okay. I never have used a video camera to record a sex session. <laughs> No, not a video camera. Next question. Yeah. I never have used a vibrator on someone else. I mean, guys have asked me to, but I'm like, I'm not, I don't roll that way. Yeah. Like, I'm the only one that's going to be getting penetrated at any point during this encounter. So, keep Sorry. pushing. Sorry about it. Literally same. And, but oddly enough, no. Hmm. I never have given the less appealing plate of food to someone else when serving us dinner. Yeah, like, cause I'm shady. <laughs> view is really like just with family. It really is. Like I wouldn't do that with like friends or like people right. like don't know. Like <laughs> I really just do it with like my sister and my mom. Cause they deserve it. Cause it's family. <laughs> cause it's family. We always do that to each other anyway. So I'm like, Ooh, okay, these fries look better. So I'll take these. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, I like eating theirs because I feel like they got more than me. So I like eat some of theirs. And I'm just like, oh my god, you're so bad. And finally, I never have thought about who I would tell to F off if I won the lottery. Well, I mean, I got a lot of money all of a sudden and the people that I wanted to tell F off, I did. So. <laughs> and this question was asking who? Like, you, you've never thought about who you would tell to F off if you won the lottery. Oh, yeah, like, I want to go to, like, old jobs. Just, oh, like, just throw it around. Yeah, just, like, that's why I don't need y'all no more. Y'all basic. Psh. Waiting on yo twice a week. Check. Psh. Bitch ass. I ain't got to do that no more. But yes, then bitch. they think it's real money, but I just, like, make counterfeit money. <laughs> And then they get arrested and they go to jail for Ooh, trying to spend counterfeit money. Yes, well, I like that. <laughs> That's some Black Mirror shit. Right? <laughs> oh, that's just so good. Oh, so good. But yeah, so that's my weird ass card. All right. And on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Alrighty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a comment and subscribe and like and share this with your friends and hit the bell. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.